Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean, where today I'm back here in central London, in the West End, where I'm going to be making my way to the Theatre Royal Drury Lane to watch Disney's Frozen the Musical. I am really excited to see this show. I actually saw the version on Broadway over in New York a couple of years ago and absolutely loved it. One of the best shows I've ever seen. The overall production quality was awesome. So I'm really excited to see just how this version is that opened a few days ago here in London. Now, as I mentioned, the show is at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane. That's been closed for a couple of years. They've been doing a lot of preparation work for Frozen, completely refurbishing the theatre, and I've been told that it looks awesome inside. So before the show starts, we'll take a little look around the foyer and the entrance area, have a look at the shop, see the merchandise, and then, of course, step into the theatre and see this beautifully um, refurbished venue. Honestly, it looks stunning from the photos that I've seen, and I'm very excited for it. In terms of Frozen the Musical, the runtime is 2 hours and 15 minutes with a 20 minute interval. And my seat was £49.50 when I booked it. It does say that for one small part of the show, there might be a restricted view. So I've got to bear that in mind. However, £49.50 for a brand new Disney musical in London, I'm not complaining at all. So really excited for it. I'm currently here in Leicester Square, about a 15 minute walk down to the theatre at Drury Lane. We're going to have a look at the outside. Then step inside the venue, have a look round at how it's been refurbished before I watch the show. Of course, I won't be able to film the production itself. However, afterwards, I'll share my review and overall thoughts from Disney's new musical here in London. So come and join me. Let's head down to the theatre on Drury Lane. Oh, it's always exciting when you come and see a show for the first time and you see all the posters lining the streets near the theatre. In terms of the Theatre Royal Drury Lane, it's about a five minute walk from Covent Garden Tube Station just here. So if you are coming to see the show, that's definitely the best spot um, to get off the tube. You can walk around through Covent Garden, grab something to eat and of course make your way to the theatre. So you can just make out the heart of Covent Garden down there at the end of the road. In a couple of minutes walk down here leads you to the absolutely spectacular Theatre Royal Drury Lane, looking beautiful after its recent refurbishment. Look at that. It looks stunning, doesn't it? And it's a huge theatre with so much history. It's actually a grade one listed building. There's actually been a theatre on this site for over 350 years. As much as this isn't the original building, it's actually the fourth um, building to have gone on this site over 350 years. Um, but yeah, it really is spectacular to see. It's huge, it really is. And looking beautiful after the recent refurbishments. Anyway, I'm going to make my way inside. We'll take a look at the shop and the frozen merchandise. And uh, yeah, also have a look around the theatre itself before the show starts tonight. Cannot wait. The show starts at 7.30. Now, as mentioned previously, the Theatre Royal Drury Lane has just undergone a £60 million two-year refurbishment and is looking better than ever before. I came to see Charlie and the Chocolate Factory here quite a few years ago and it was always a great theatre. However, now it's even more spectacular and feels like a really fresh space inside there. Now, of course, a big part of going to the theatre is merchandise, especially when it's a show such as Disney's Frozen the Musical. So I'm going to start off by taking a look at some of the merchandise here and also showing you the prices as well for if you are going to be visiting. So, yeah, of course, you're greeted uh, by these wonderful dresses outside the shop. They're not for sale, uh, but all of these items are. As you can see, you've got Frozen t-shirts, mugs, bags. The backpack there is brilliant. And you can see the prices for those there. Um, of course, it is theatre pricing. It's not going to be cheap. However, um, it's to be expected when you're going to see a musical, especially when it's a Disney production. Something that I really like here is the Arendelle uh, t-shirt there. I think that is brilliant. Really do like that with Arendelle ice coat on. Um, that's something a bit different. That's £35, as you can see. Um, there's also the blanket there and also a travel mug as well. I tell you what, that coat looks nice and fluffy, doesn't it? That'll keep you warm over winter. And uh, the socks are awesome there as well. Uh, you can see all the prices. The Kristoff socks, they're £20. Um, you've got the gloves for 20 there as well. And uh, yeah, there's some really nice items throughout this shop. Everything's really good quality. Yes, it's quite expensive, um, but this is Disney and you're paying for the quality of them items as well, um, which is brilliant. You've also got some necklaces up there as well, along with the plush toys uh, look at that just the detailing on it really is incredible and again here's a look 
at some of the price in there. Like some of the necklaces aren't too bad, £22 um, for those. And uh, yeah, you can get things like the Arna Cape for £40. I mean, look at this. Like, this is incredible. And it's all embroidered um, with the logo there as well. Of course, if you are taking kids to go and see this show, it's more than likely that they're going to want some merchandise from it. And there really is a lot to choose from. And some of that I don't think is too um, badly priced as well. You got the Olaf plush there for £40. Really nice and cuddly um, Olaf. Uh, anyways, we make our way out of the shop. Let's just take a look around the theatre before heading into the auditorium. Uh, this really is a spectacular space. Uh, the big dome there, uh, the upper levels to this theatre, it really is incredible what they've done with this. Of course, the theatre itself, uh, owned by Andrew Lloyd Webber, and I imagine he's really proud of everything what has been done over the past couple of years. Here's one of the bar areas. This is on the lower area very nice bar and it's worth pointing out that you can actually head into the, the theater itself into the bars and restaurants without actually going to see a show it's just open in the daytime and on an evening um, you don't have your tickets checked until you go into the auditorium itself which is quite a nice little touch actually because it means that you can just go in and explore this space and see it all there's some really nice pictures on the wall um, lots of Shakespeare inspired pictures uh, there's some brilliant um, statues throughout as well and this is one of my favorite spaces it's like a little hidden bar in all of the trees this is down on the ground floor and look at this with all the nice trees um, i really liked that here's a look at another bar that they've got just downstairs as well um, again some really nice decor inside here it just feels so fresh but it's still got that historic um, feel to it as well and this is upstairs now um, just before i made my way in to see the show and uh, as you can see that's one of the other bars just there Here's a look inside the spectacular auditorium from the Royal Circle. I'm sat in row K, got a nice center view of the stage and I'm looking forward to the show. So I'll see you afterwards. So I've just got back to the car after watching Disney's Frozen the West End musical at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane for the first time. And what can I say, that was absolutely phenomenal. Over the next few minutes, I'm gonna share my thoughts on this brand new show in London. Now, I just wanna start off by saying that this is the most visually impressive show you're ever gonna see. Uh, honestly, it is spectacular. All the projection mapping, the set pieces, the costumes, the visual effects, it all comes together in what I believe is the most visually impressive show there is out there at the moment. The technology in this is amazing, it really is. And at points, you really can't tell what's a screen, what's projections, and what's physical set pieces. And that means they've done an absolutely incredible job at making this all come to life. In terms of the show, all of your favorite songs are in there. Um, of course, Let It Go is the main highlight of that production. Um, you've got all the icicles coming in, you've got the ice palace that is absolutely absolutely spectacular and I must say the size of the set pieces is incredible because the stage is huge um, but when Let It Go happens um, that whole song is so powerful you can just feel the energy um, in the room from that and all the projection mapping honestly it comes together in a beautiful production. Just want to go over the general show uh, and talk about the start of it of course you see Anna and Elsa um, as children first because before they later grow up um, of course much like in the movie and uh, yeah this is played by two children that did an absolutely amazing job um, at telling that story honestly I don't know how they do it like these young performers they were brilliant um, at, at starting the show uh, and then of course as the uh, show progresses we see an older Anna and Elsa come into the production one of my favorite characters in there is Kristoff he was absolutely brilliant and of course Fen the reindeer um, that was absolutely awesome uh, a brilliant costume really really good uh, that brings that to life. Along with that as well, Olaf is actually a puppet in this show, and uh, I really enjoyed that. Um, the guy that was doing the puppetry was absolutely phenomenal. He was brilliant at bringing that character across and making Olaf really feel like he was alive there on the stage. Um, of course, Let It Go was a brilliant number, um, but every single musical number throughout that show um, was just really well thought out with the lighting, the special effects, and there's just so much going on in that show. It's non-stop from start to finish. Um, it really is. 
and it's the effects what really make that stand out. In my opinion, it's the most impressive musical, the most impressive show I've ever seen. And if you're going to watch that at Drury Lane, you're really not going to be disappointed with the overall production of it. Um, I really felt like Anna uh, was brilliant. She was really good. Elsa, I thought, was fantastic, but Anna stole the show for me. I thought that she was brilliant um, playing that character. Elsa, um, with Let It Go, was absolutely brilliant. And don't get me wrong, she was still great. Um, I just really thought that, uh, that Anna really got into that role um, the, the best uh, of anyone in that production. Um, along with that, um, I, I just thought that the overall um, vibe of it was brilliant. Sometimes you go and watch a show and think, you know what, it was visually beautiful, but did it have that vibe? Did it really feel like, you know, you were in the movie, so to speak, like, like this with Frozen? And this really did um, with how it all came together. Disney's come a long way with these shows and special effects. The Lion King is brilliant. I love it to bits. It's been running for over 20 years in London, uh, but you can't beat this for effects. Uh, the special effects in this really take this to the next level. In terms of how it was compared to the Broadway version, I actually thought it was pretty similar. Yes, there was some changes, but mostly um, I found it was to some of the set pieces. I found the sets to mostly be similar to uh, the Broadway version. However, I'd say that the set uh, design for the West End version was slightly better in terms of the detailing. Uh, the Ice Palace is gorgeous with all of the crystals um, coming down. Uh, along with that as well, just the general scenes inside the castle are beautiful. Uh, there was one point where there was an an ice bridge that made its way all the way across the stage uh, that was amazing to see like just the technology uh, that's gone into that and things like the icicle sticking up out of the stage floor um, along with that Olaf does a beautiful number of course um, all about summer and that was a, a, a great piece with all the lighting and special effects all the glamorous summer lighting that came up on there uh, umbrellas parasols that kind of thing um, and that really made it honestly I am blown away with that show it was brilliant in my opinion Opinion. It's one of the best shows out there at the moment. One of the best shows you're ever going to see. If you like um, really feeling like you're in the movie, that is the show. It's played out right in front of you. And like I say, I do really like how they've got young Anna and Elsa at the start. They grow up and then they bring in the older um, actresses um, to, to play them parts later in the show. Brilliant. Um, Sven is awesome as well. Um, of course, the puppetry with Olaf is brilliant. And yeah, just everyone really plays their characters really well in that show. If you're going to see it, you're not going to be disappointed um it really is a beautiful production and uh, yeah i hope that you enjoy it if you're making your way to work drury lane to go and see it 10 out of 10 from me i'll be booking some tickets to come and see it again soon i'm sure charlotte will come with me as well to come and see it next time and uh, yeah definitely recommend that show to anyone who's going to see it like i said earlier on the venue is also spectacular now what they've done uh, with that venue really is gorgeous it's the most beautiful theater in london in my opinion and one of the most beautiful theaters out there in the world it really is um, just the bars in there and um, the general atmosphere throughout the how clean and professional it all feels with the staff in there as well who are ushering you down to your seats um, the whole experience is great and uh, Disney have put on a spectacular production so overall brilliant show acting quality was great special effects really do steal the show and like I say it's got all of your frozen classics in there uh, that you enjoy along with some new music as well worth pointing out that it's all put together by a beautiful orchestra as well um, that are just in front of the stage and they do a brilliant job uh, the sounds in there uh, you just can't beat it can you when it's coming from like a live orchestra um, it really does add to the experience and there was part of that show where you're tearing up it's really emotional and you know when that's happening that it's a very good production so there are my thoughts on Frozen the West End musical definitely recommend it and uh, yeah thank you for joining me here on Adventure Sean hope you've enjoyed seeing the merchandise a little look at the theatre and of course hearing my thoughts on that show it's all good hearing my thoughts though I'd love to to know what you guys think so comment down below on this video and let me know what you think if you're coming to see the show over in london that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and have your own adventures i'll see you all in the next video